This is the system demonstration of CoStar's lease accounting software that highlights functionality for the management and financial reporting of real estate, equipment, and other leased assets. Beginning from CoStar's lease accounting dashboard, this page and others throughout the system are configurable per user to display pertinent information for each user's role in the organization. This demonstration reviews the system from the perspective of an accounting or financial user's role. Users also have the ability to define the currency, date format, and unit of measurement specific to their geographical preference. The dashboard shows the different classification types supported by the system. Operating and capital leases under ASC Topic 840 or FAS 13. Finance and operating leases under ASC 842, as well as IFRS 16. By selecting a future or past period, the dashboard adjusts to display updated asset and liability amounts for each classification, making it easy to understand the balance sheet impact for the period. The dashboard also displays a lease workflow status of needs review, pending approval, and approved by each classification type, and an aggregate of the entire portfolio. This functionality enables lease data change management and creates a process for approving and reconciling balances as well as maintaining schedules on an ongoing basis. CoStar's system features many standard reports, including the ASC 842 Disclosure Report, that may be easily created based upon calculations from the new lease accounting guidance. This report displays the number of leases added or expired, balances, and lease costs year over year. Short-term and reporting exceptions, along with variable costs and sublease income, are also reported. Further down, Tracking for cash flows, weighted average remaining lease term, and weighted average discount rates are shown. Finally, the five-year obligation for each individual classification type, cash flows, weighted averages, and overall discounted amounts based off of those weighted averages are displayed. CoStar also offers a standard IFRS 16 disclosure report as well. Returning to the system, the bottom of each page has CoStar's quick search feature, that allows users to look for any type of information in the system. For example, by entering part of a building name, the specific location record and related lease information options are displayed. CoStar software has extensive tools for managing real estate leases. For instance, the Building Options menu includes the ability to associate any organizational leases to specific locations in the system. This provides the ability to track not only payable leases, but any subleases as well. By selecting a lease record, users may access and edit the real estate data needed for accounting purposes. The Lease Abstract menu displays the numerous sections associated with a full abstract, including three sections where critical data is located. The Term Information section contains the data that drives recognition periods, such as the possession date and current expiration date. The GL Recurring Events section displays payments made or receivables from subleases. Categories include lease components and escalations, and non-lease components, such as common area maintenance, other variable costs, or direct costs. These charges may be set up for payment directly from CoStar's system if desired. The other important section for accounting is lease options, where renewal dates and forecasted obligations are stored, whether they are index-based, fair market value-based, or stated payments. If an option is reasonably certain to be exercised, it may be flagged above the charges area. Assessment reasoning details may also be added in order to include those obligations in a right-of-use calculation. Supporting legal documents or other files associated with a particular lease may be stored in the system using the Files option, with the ability to link to other systems as needed. The Accounting Options page for a specific lease includes the workflow status and detailed change history organized by any schedules and classification types associated with the lease. The amortization section reflects changes over time within a particular schedule, for an operating lease under ASC 840 in this case, as well as any escalations and adjustments that may need to be made in order to end with a zero deferred balance. Individual leases may have a concurrent ASC 842 schedule, shown here with a variable amortization over time and ultimately having a zero asset and liability balance. The IFRS 16 schedule looks similar to the ASC 842 calculation with a level amortization. These schedules may be easily exported to Excel using the Run Report button in the upper right section of the page. To create new schedules, use the Add Schedule button 
and begin by selecting the appropriate classification type. Amortization and journal entry profiles can be set up to apply predetermined accounting policies, separating the lease and non-lease components that are displayed in the grid at the bottom of the page. These profiles can also transfer data to various ledgers as needed. As selections are made, the application will use default dates and exchange rates to accurately calculate the recognition period and any functional currency conversions needed. The discount rate can either be entered directly or selected from a profile, such as the incremental borrowing rate or another rate determined by corporate policy. From here, the classification testing process begins by inputting information such as the fair market value and economic life of the lease. The data loads directly into Test 3 and Test 4, with the ability to select the other tests if required. Once the test begins, the system displays verification messages or prompts for additional review if any results contradict the classification type, allowing for changes as needed. For ASC 842 classification tests, the page updates to display an opening asset and liability balance, with the ability also to select the fifth specialized nature test, calculate an implicit rate, and indicate any reporting exceptions before restarting the testing process. Options that are reasonably certain to be exercised may also be included in this section, allowing the accounting team to drive this decision, and also the ability to flag any of these exceptions to remove this from the balance sheet, yet still include it in a disclosure. CoStar also supports IFRS 16 that has a similar schedule creation sequence, but without the need to go through the testing process. CoStar enables schedules to be processed in bulk to create journal entry files on a regular basis, shown here. Whether through a report or an interface, debits and credits may be sent directly to ledgers with the ability to reconcile and aggregate them into different legal entities through various methods of transfer, as needed. For equipment lease management, the abstract information section is more condensed, displaying the basic asset information, options, key dates, and dollars associated with each lease. Records are associated with a supplier, as opposed to a location for real estate management. Sections for lease options and recurring GL events have a similar appearance and functionality throughout the system. Recurring payments may be separated whether or not a practical expedient is used, depending on how accounting policies are applied to the data. The accounting process is the same for equipment leases, with the ability to add schedules and perform classification testing, as well as the ability to apply concurrent guidance and classification types for those individual assets. Here's an example of a fleet vehicle asset that has been amortized in one individual schedule. CoStar's system can also group leases and assets into master leases of subagreements, as shown in this example for IT server equipment. This setup allows the ability to track multiple assets underneath the equipment lease schedule. It can be configured to track any asset attributes necessary, and then amortize and combine assets into one schedule, allocating the schedule out to the individual assets as needed. To see more functionality of CoStar's lease accounting software, or to schedule a full demonstration, visit CoStarManager.com or call 888-823-3209.